just come in here, getting that vending machine food. Look at that fresh food. Uh, we just put it in the microwave. Let's see how it turns out. That fresh food is now hot food. Mm. All right, my friends, the library has just closed and it's dark now. We are in the darkness, guys. The library has closed. Scary, spooky, spooky times, spooky, spooky. Now, I'm not in college, but I used to be in college slash university. College, university, I know people call it differently. I was, and I was for like three years. A lot of you guys don't know, I actually studied in Amsterdam. I was in Amsterdam for three years. Uh, when I finished high school, I moved to Holland and I thought I'm gonna go to Holland. I'm gonna play football in Holland. And while I'm playing football, I'm gonna study. So I thought it's like kind of a good way to get in the country, good way to like do both. And so I moved there, moved in, moved all my stuff, lived right next to the Ajax arena, which was amazing. You know, every time Ajax scored a goal, I was like hearing the stadium and I was training with some really good teams, playing with some really good teams. And I just ended up having a, a real blast. It was great being in Holland for three years. Now about that though, I was there for three years and I completed 225 out of 240 credits. So I had 15 credits left to complete and get the degree. <laughs> so all I needed to complete was like the thesis part and long story short, I never finished it. I mean, I submitted it. I think I, I failed actually. I failed the thesis. I did fail the thesis, but I never finished it. Never finished that part. So I never ended up getting the degree. So technically I dropped out of college. I'm a college dropout guys. College dropout. Yeah. Now, the thing about college, uni, like I never, never intended on finishing. My intention when starting was I go there for like six months uh, or maybe one year and then I'd like figure out what I wanted to do, stop. And hopefully I, I would be playing football full time or doing something of that nature already in the first six months or first year. And then things just kept going, got a girlfriend, like this life kind of changed. A lot of things happened and, and that's how it was. But uh, yeah, I never finished. Now, I feel fine about that. I mean, having a college degree or not has no impact whatsoever whatsoever on who I am as a person or how I feel about myself or you know I don't care what others think about me so if they don't like me because I don't have a college degree well <laughs> F them. The reason why I don't really care was because I went for the experience not for the educational part not for just getting the piece of paper because deep down I already knew what I wanted to do and that was get into entrepreneurship play sports play football and just kind of create the life that I really wanted to which was not going to require a degree. So yeah I dropped out no regrets about that. That's the thing about college guys university I had a great experience experience there. Maybe like 10% of the stuff I learned there, like in classes, I'd actually apply it to my own life. But 100% of the experience I will learn from and cherish from all the time because there's so much I learned, so many people I met from all over the different parts of the world, so many challenges that I got to experience, like living in a new country, living by yourself, living with roommates, like making friends, defriending people, figuring out who you want to be in life, what you want to do. A lot of that, that stuff that you just learn in college and being in an environment where you're surrounded by people that are kind of going through the same thing, same challenges and issues and wants in their own life. Also, you end up building this like network of people that to this day I'm friends with. We still chat and communicate and stuff and living in a new country. It's fun, man. It's fun, challenging, hard in Holland, Amsterdam. It was great. It was great. So if you guys are thinking of going to university or college or you're in it right now and you're thinking of dropping out, my advice to you guys is like just focus number one on experience. Think about the people you meet, thinking about the positive challenges you encounter. You know, if you're doing business or marketing or let's say you're not a doctor or a lawyer or in a profession where you require a degree, I'd seriously think twice about going and not paying heaps and heaps of money unless you're all about the experience, all about what you can gain from meeting other people. But don't go there because you think you're going to become rich and successful because you've got a business degree. <laughs> so yeah, that's just my two cents. I love tracking everything. I love tracking every workout. So even when I'm doing a stretching session, it's like, let's get ready. Let's do some Pilates, guys. This is not really Pilates, but I guess it's kind of like it, stretching and stuff. Anyway. I'm not gonna lie guys, today, and generally just over the last few weeks, it's like a lot of the times just finding inspiration about what to talk about today. And so a lot of times, like right now, I'm just coming out raw, okay? I don't really have a plan about what I'm gonna say, but I just wanna say something that's authentic and that you guys can relate to. And that is just coming off the top of my dome, like in a, in a way where it just kind of truly expresses how I feel. And honestly, a lot of times how I've been feeling these days, recently the 100 days is just low, sometimes low energy, low inspiration. And that's truly really, really 
fueled by injury. You know, I caught up with a friend yesterday who hasn't been really watching the 100 days. He's kind of new to it and he's explaining like, oh, what day are you on now? And I'm like, bro, today's day 80. Today's day 80, the 100 days. Like there's 20 days left. Like what the hell is going on? And I'm like, bro, damn, there's only 20 days left. And I've not hit the heights and the pinnacles of the challenge that I've been wanting to. I thought day 30, day 40, day 50, we've got a training, a tryout, something lined up every single week at least. And bro, injuries killed me, man. I know injury is like one of those understandable things because kind of like all footballers get it. Like you can't really, I guess, blame someone if they're injured and they, they can't do the stuff they wanted to in the challenge, especially with tryouts and matches and training, which is really what I wanted to show you guys. But just the fact that I haven't been able to do it as much as I like, it's just like, yeah, it just makes me feel like not great. Obviously in the last 100 days, by day 80, we were like, we've traveled the world, bro. <laughs> you know, we've been doing a lot by day 80. And it's not like we haven't been doing a lot by day 80 of this 100 days. It's just like, just haven't been able to do what I really wanted to do. That sucks, that really sucks. My friend asked me yesterday, Nick, like, all right, you got 20 more days. What are you going to do? I'm like, bro, I'm just focusing every day. I'm getting better. I'm doing my exercises and I'm just following the plan bro. following the step-by-step -step plan because the plan next week is I, I train with a team or at least train back with a team. I'm not saying a pro team or whatever, but getting minutes in with a team training. And that's just kind of the slow way that I have to take it with this injury. And then when my friend and, and myself were talking, my friend was like, oh, you know, you could pause day 80. You could pause it day 80 and say that you're recovering for like a month or two and then you come back finish off the last 20 days or you could just like extend past 100 days that's what someone else said so right now i'm thinking about how we're going to close out the challenge while still being hopeful still being optimistic that anything can happen these next 20 days because i might just rapidly start recovering at least i gotta hold on to that hope i don't know what do you guys think you think I should pause it, extend? What kind of format would you guys like to see? Maybe I can get some inspiration from you in the comments. So just leave your comment below if you're watching. Or just leave a salute if you don't know what to say. Just leave a salute. You know that I appreciate all your comments. But yeah, guys, even if it isn't going 100%, well, at least you guys know I'm being real with you. This is raw, authentic. I've got to film every day. This challenge is not about being perfect. It's about being persistent and being persistent in all those days where it doesn't seem to be going right. Now we're off to the place that we go all the time. And guys, I don't feel like going right now. It's a hot, humid Saturday afternoon. I do not feel like going, but oh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm. I'm not looking forward to this one. I'm dreading it slightly. Oh, snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, come on, court. But if I just get through the first five, 10 minutes, first 10 minutes, I know it's going to be painful. And then by minute 10, minute 15, I'll be good. So Nick, take a deep breath. And let's work. <laughs> let's work. Let's strap in, guys. Let's strap in for this spinning workout today. Okay, sweat check. Sweat check, 50% of the way. We're past the board stage. We're good. Let's finish this one. 35. Killing it. Oh. Oh. I'm done. I'm done, guys. Almost 45 minutes now. A lot of time in that zone, too. Oh. I'm drenched bro, there's no water, this i can't believe this I, i'm now going to go watch a football match i want you guys want to show you guys a football match but we're back on a hill again on this crappy bike guys i just wanted to chill after this intense bike session and now we're on a bike again bro going uphill let me chill please oh, no i thought i was over it i thought i was over there back i'm done but now i got more uphill to do dude oh killing me 
Where am I going now? I'm going in the field somewhere. I'm going off to these fields somewhere. Where, where am I going? Where is this? I don't know where Google Maps has led me, but it's, it's led me to some pony. Hello, pony. Yo, it's led me to some sort of farmland and cows, more cows. We saw cows last week. Where am I going? Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey, can you help me? Yo, I've got more heels, guys. You, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Just come to uh, watch one of my old teams. I used to play for the team in the blue two years ago, or even as early as a year ago, but really like two years ago. And they're just playing now. The blue team is 2-0 up. This is uh, the third league in Switzerland. I don't know what the equivalent is in division, but it's like the, uh, the Dritte, Dritte Liga. Um, yeah, when I was playing in the blue team, we were one league up, but uh, maybe I can get a few clips of what's going on here. Could have been 3-0, but we missed a penalty. Let's see the crowd. Oh. Alright guys, time to cap off the day. I'm just getting myself some food. Woo! I need the calories now because I did some intense, intense cycling work today for over an hour. So I'm pooped. That's all good, guys. 100 day challenge. We're on day 80. 20 days left. You guys heard a little bit of my struggles, but now it's time to eat and call it a day. So peace. See you guys tomorrow. Let me